I'm gonna give I'm gonna give this a little bit of uh, like a, a splash between things I liked and things I didn't like because obviously there were there were things that I enjoyed in this chapter seven early sins chapter was it three sixteen now uh, and there were things that bothered me so as as was before in the last chapter I had talked about how like okay there even though I didn't like the the fact that it's like Hey, we're at the very literal last battle of the series. We're going to reveal that Ellie was a competent fighter. When it showed earlier, like, she fought with them against, uh, against who, who was Mel, uh, Mel, well, became Melstros. So it was Esterosa at the time, and, like, she still seemed, like, not a good fighter at all, but uh, whatever, whatever, it's fine. And then, <laughs> also super confusing, similar to how, like, it was literally not until the battle with, uh, with Maelstros that Diane's like, yeah, my hammer, I'm gonna reveal what its power is literally near the end of the series. And it was like, okay, why don't we find that out way earlier? And um, with, uh, now we got Bond, who's getting his holy treasure back, or sacred treasure, rather, from Merlin, who's had it this whole time and didn't give it to him back until literally the end of the series. Uh, a little bit confusing on that. But now they're, you know, they, they got it back, and he's going to use it. And it's cool. And there were things that were, like, obviously really cool in this. Like, when you use it, it pretty much gives him this kind of, like, irregular fighting style. Obviously, with the chain spear like that, it would have a lot of very, like, quick maneuverable strikes. You know, you obviously, you master it. You, you pretty much got, like, a, like a weird snake weapon, uh, essentially. Which, is he supposed to be the fox? Uh, anyway, I feel like it should have been something kind of, like, fox-related or, or, or something. Maybe it's because it's quick like a fox? I don't know. But once he uses it, he gains pretty much, like, that plus super concentration so Vaughn can, like, extend, like, his uh, his range. You know, he, he's way more pinpoint accurate and, and stuff like that. And you see all these Endura around, and this is one thing I actually didn't like. So, uh, the Endura finally are getting to do something in this, and they're beating up on this Endura pretty viciously and pretty heavily. Uh, but this one isn't just an Endura. It's... An Endura pretty much, like, stronger than regular Enduras, because, like, the Endura favor are, like, Ten Commandments grade uh, demons that became Enduras, so it doesn't know, it's not like, oh, it's, uh, it's ten times the normal Endura, it's just like, oh, these are better by how much and by, and, you know, what it might be, but... Because of that, this means that every Endura potentially, unless it's another one of these special ones, is going to be weaker than this. And they're beating up on it really badly. And now that Bond has his, uh, is, is, how do you even pronounce that word? Your chose or chaos or however the fuck it said. Uh, he now has it. So the thing that probably was the most dangerous, like, ability of this one, just guessing because it's a pretty good power, uh, that's completely rendered moot because all it would take is Bond to jump up and do it again. And we also don't know, like, the charge time on this, like, little spore baby endura like splatter attack but with that uh they end up attacking it and it was like these characters i feel like they shouldn't be beating up the shit out of it like uh, and diane literally just ground gladius's wand pierces right through it and i'm pretty sure she's only ever used mother catastrophe once why didn't she use it again here i, I will be legitimately surprised if she doesn't even use it one more time uh before the end of the series but anyway you got them all, like, using their special attacks. They're beating up on it. Uh, fucking Bond is literally walking at it and doing some cool nunchaku stuff. And, again, I'm some like, why couldn't it be, like, they beat this one and then it's revealed to be one of the weaker Enduras and this is literally just the first wing that was, like, conveniently really close to the portal and the strong ones are coming? But, I, I don't know, it's like, Jesus Christ, why... Why have it get beat up this bad? It's like literally the first time you really get to see an Endura. Because the Endura before were like, weren't fully like, transformed and they were beaten like, briefly after they became Endura. And then a movie one. It, it makes me a little salty because I talk about like, the Endura I genuinely really like. This one's the design I still think is really cool. Uh, and they're beating the hell out of it. And then, uh, you know, it comes to these little tiny ones. And again, I, I want to see more Endura, but literally if it's just this one. And all it literally did is, is spit out a bunch of tiny little baby Enduras and then get the shit kicked out of it. I'll be kind of bummed. I'm hoping this is literally just annoying for it and they have to have like a whole group combo attack to defeat it. Then I'll be okay with it, you know. And they see a bunch of random Holy Knights. Well, not random. I mean, they're pretty much background characters now. What is that? Gil Thunder, 
uh, Hoser, Hauser, however you pronounce his name, and they do some like triple attack, and then you know they they seal up this internal box, lightning wind it, uh, doesn't do any damage. It kind of just like breaks through, smacks all of them. And uh, what's confusing? So these guys are holy knight level. They're still pretty powerful, and they got stronger from where they were when they were still holy knights. Like they, we don't, I don't remember how much. I think it was only like they each went up like a, a quarter per, like a quarter of their power, like you know twenty five percent stronger. Uh, but then they, like, the Endura is just, like, wrecking them, this little baby Endura, and somehow after, like, one-shotting Holy Knight people, a very frail Escanor somehow blocks it, I'm just like, how, how would that shield block that attack? It literally just, like, one-shot three, like, different, uh, well, Guild Thunder's barely able to stand, you know, it'd still be Holy Knight level, and you know, Escanor, who, the normal Escanor is weak even for a normal human, and he blocked it with a shield. I'm just like, whatever. Oh, whatever. It looks like it's going to be, you know, a good character moment for Escanor. He's going to get a good little display. Maybe he, you know, unlocks that he has Sunshine still, or maybe a variant of it. Maybe, like, it has, like, a different version that evolved while it was in his body, or something. But, you know, as long as it has a good character moment for him, then, you know, I'll be happy with the outcome. Because Escanor is really cool. Uh, he's my favorite of the Seven Deadly Sins, even though he has that kind of, like, same unfortunate, like, beats most of the bad guys, like, like fact of uh, Meliodas, because really, like, the two of them, and then side piece Merlin, like, have beat most of the big shots in the series. Um, but uh, I, I do like him, because I like the way that his power is obviously set. I like his personality. He's got a really cool design and stuff. I, you know, I, I just like how he was uh, displayed more than in Meliodas, I guess, because Meliodas, uh, I didn't really care about his, like, endless, oh, I'm going to beat everyone, badass slaughter fest. Uh, and then his normal character I liked, but then, like, the, the fact that he just seemed to crush everyone before him, and then he was just kept getting more powerful every time that he did anything ever, but, like, some absurd boost. I think that kind of turned me off a little bit of him, but I always liked Escanor. Like, he was just always, I always thought he was a really cool character. But other than that, like I said, there was some good stuff, there was some bad stuff. You gotta see a lot of what I think the Kaba does best, and that's fighting choreography. I think he's really good at, you know, action. And he, I think he, where he drops the ball is maybe, like, he goes too far away from that. He tries to do uh, a little bit of, like, weird, uh, kind of, like, tries to be complex with, like, certain plots. Like, and I think that's where it's kind of, like, seemed a little bit ridiculous. Like, pretty much Merlin and the fact that like, she had this really kind of interesting idea of a backstory. But it, on a, you know, main cast character, it just made her, like, absurdly bullshit. And that just kind of, like, added to her being, a, like... Uh, are, are pretty much a walking plot device character. She sounds like someone fan her up. Like, that she comes off as just one of those characters. Wow, she's great at everything. She's really smart. Uh, she's like, knows everything and can use every spell infinitely. Like, it's just like, eh, I don't really care about her. I, I like about half the sins. You know, I, the three out of the four, uh, you know, but Escanor is obviously at the top of there. And it'll be really cool to see him get a character moment and, you know, some display of the, you know, him not having power, but still, you know, that not, like, holding him back. And he'll try and die, uh, you know, helping others like he wanted. Other than that, drop a comment below. Sorry if I rambled on a little bit in this review, but you know how it is. You know, it could be just... Rambling happens when you review stuff. But, as I said, drop a comment below what you thought about this chapter. I'm hoping it stays around this level of consistency. I just don't want more, like, stuff that it's like this. Like, Elizabeth suddenly being a confident fighter in the final fight. Bond getting his weapon back in the final fight. Uh, it's like, quit having stuff that should have been revealed like 100 chapters ago, 150 chapters ago, uh, and and just kind of keep it in endgame feel. Because this still feels like it's like, oh, this is not the last arc. You know, the characters are finding out about him. Maybe Ellie will get her own more fights later. Bond will, you know, have to face somebody eventually with his weapon. It would have been cooler if Bond's thing was like, he could be the strongest sin if he had his weapon, but he just forgets where it was, and then finally you get to, like, a comedic thing, and then finally he gets it back, and then it, that's when he's whooping ass. But it just seems like he was just absurdly powerful going toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Demon King, and it's like, we already know that the uh, the weapons can, like, vastly increase his strength, so how bullshit strong is he now? He should be, like, far above any of the other sins that aren't named Meliodas. Uh, but other than that, like I said, comment below. Tell me you thought about this chapter. You know, and I really appreciate you. Thumbs up the video, from the like button and the subscribe button. And check out my other videos. I appreciate everyone who's already subscribed. And I thank you all for listening. Bye.